Will you open your mouth and answer at all? S what? What is this doing here? Mr. Dayton, this is in UB. He came as an exchange student just a few days ago. Exchange? How can we exchange our brilliant minds for this? For the last time, I'm asking you, who came up with string theory? Um, um. Who? Who? What are you, an owl? <laughs> Listen, newbie, I'm not here to teach you how to speak properly. I'm a university professor, not a kindergarten nanny. I don't care where you're from. But here, you have to speak in our language. Because this is extremely disrespectful. I... What is your name? English! Ever heard of it? Well, well. Obviously, you're not Jack or Michael. Mm hmm. Shaiming. Or is it shaming? Because you're such a shame. <laughs> what are you mumbling? Are you from Mumland? <laughs> Do you even know what astrophysics is? This is the future of our planet. How can our future depend on a man who cannot even open his mouth? Oops, sorry. Okay, the final test is tomorrow, and you can thank our chatterbox, because I didn't have time to end my lecture. Dismissed. Mr. Cooper, may I come in? I'd like to ask you about... Hey, what are you doing here? What's that? A complaint. How cute. Did you really think you can set me up just like this, behind my back? Mr. Cooper, don't mind this student at all. He doesn't speak any English but he still has the nerve to write a complaint about me. I get it. We should have closed this exchange program a long time ago. Absolutely. No speak English. English, understand. Yeah, buddy. You don't really think you can become an astrophysicist, do you? You can find an occupation of your rank and buy a dictionary for status. Yeah, by the way, I've heard about a couple of openings at the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Uh, you can wash the dishes. It doesn't require any brain. All right now, any objections? No? Great, well, get out of my office. The intelligence level in this room is dropping by the second. <laughs> move it, move it. Chop, chop. Bye bye. <laughs> the test is over. Tomorrow will be your final oral exam. But that doesn't matter. What is important is that a teaching committee is going to come tomorrow to the exam. And if all goes well, when 
all goes well. I will be appointed the head of the astrophysical faculty. I've waited 15 years for this. So no stupid pranks, no lateness. If you want to get good grades, just act as if you deserve them. You again, are you kidding me? You know what? I'm not even going to read this. Let's just think that you failed the test. But, sir, I... Did you really think that I would let you take the test? I don't want the committee to see your ugly face. Do you know how many pathetic losers like you I've destroyed to get this job. And I won't let any idiot to ruin my career. You get it? Consider it a favor. And go back where you belong, serving people like us. Dear committee, let me introduce you to my best students. These are the smartest people in the world, my young Einsteins. The future of astrophysics is in these students' hands. Of course, with my competent uh, teaching guidance. Um, shall we begin? Uh, just a minute, Mr. Dayton, we're not quite ready. I told you not to come here. You stupid idiot. Mr. Smith is going to come here any minute now. Go out now. Um, excuse me, colleagues. Uh, this is my exchange student. He's uh, sort of... Um, <laughs> um, he's about to leave. He'll leave now. Leonard Suske. What are you mumbling? String theory. It was Leonard Susskind who gave string theory. You asked. Actually, Mr. Dayton, I wanted to introduce you to Dr. Smith. We're honored to have you here today with us. Dr. Smith is the youngest student and the most talented in his field. This is the future of astrophysics. Oh, come on, Mrs. Camp. We're not here for this. Well, Mr. Dayton, we've not had a chance to talk. Or rather, let's just say, you didn't give me a chance to speak. I hate to break it to you, but this committee right here is not going to promote you to the head of the faculty. In fact, we've been getting a lot of complaints from your students about your inappropriate behavior. I didn't want to believe the rumors. I wanted to see it for myself. So I pretended to be your exchange student for a week. And I must say, this committee is very disappointed in your approach. Uh, listen, there's been a misunderstanding. Uh, colleagues, I didn't know that he was a doctor. That's your problem, Mr. Dayton. You don't treat people with respect if you don't think that their status is high. A good professor encourages his students, creates a friendly atmosphere. You, on the other hand, what was it you said? Destroy them? <sighs> yes, that's uh, unacceptable. Uh, what a blow to the reputation of our university. Oh, spare us the quackery, Mr. Cooper. 
you were his accomplice it was all happening right under your nose what did you do you chose to turn a blind eye to it can you imagine how many talented people we've lost because of these two idiots just because they thought they're not rich enough or don't come from a specific socio economic background Mr. Dayton, Mr. Cooper, we value a friendly atmosphere and equal opportunities for each student. We will never condone such bad behavior in any of our institutions. That is why this committee has decided to suspend you indefinitely. Wait. You can't do it. Come back. You have no right. I'm going to complain. So, what am I supposed to do, Mr. Clever Boy? Do you know what? A little birdie told me there's an opening in the cafeteria. You can wash dishes, can't you? You can be as mean to them as you like. Sweet. Excuse me. What a beautiful exercise. <laughs> I think I'm going to work out to this at home if you know what I mean. Or I'll complain to the manager. Sweetie, you can complain to the president if you want. You know who I am? I can have you out of here today if I wanted to. Don't make me 